Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. We have a few flakes that will be flying through our area in the forecast, and it's going to be heavier in spots, and some of us will barely get much of anything, more than an inconvenience. Your full morning forecast coming up on this version of Hutch's Weather. My friends at Robert Gibbonsons have a deal for you. If you've been thinking of replacing your heating and air conditioning system, do it now and they will throw in a free water heater to boot. This is quality Bryant equipment. You, you set it and forget it. It's done by technicians who are the best in the business. And Robert Gibbonson's, well, basically serving our area for over 110 years. Now let's get to your hour by hour forecast. Number one, as we go through, we'll have a cold front approaching from the north and west. It's an Alberta Clipper style system, and it's going to bring a chance for some snow showers most prevalent in southeast Montana and Manitoba as we go into the early morning hours here. Now, as we go through, we'll have southwest winds here ahead of the storm. So that's kind of common and it bolsters temperatures. So while we fell early in the overnight, these southwest winds help to scrub out some of that cold molasses, except in the areas where the snow has been deep, you still will start out near zero. Now, snow showers in the Northern Valley for that drive home, or excuse me, to work rather, or school. And look at this snow showers and the cold front by the time we get to the drive home. Cold front working its way through, so anyone from the Red Lakes area, Bemidji, on up to Lake of the Woods and Rainy Lake have a chance at seeing some more appreciable snow showers. This will add a layer of insult to injury to area roads, but not a lot of snow, not enough to really uh, write home about. But the elevated terrain in parts of Montana and northeast Wyoming will have a better chance at seeing some more appreciable snowfall showers. So for our area then, as we go into the nighttime hours, gusty north winds take hold, decreasing clouds as snow showers move to the south and to the south and west, and the cold takes hold as temperatures will be a fallen. So this is what we're talking about snowfall-wise in our particular area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the snowfall potential from the National Weather Service here, and this is the expected amount, or the 50th percent there's a pretty decent chance that we'll see very little, uh, uh, basically not measurable to around two tenths of an inch of snow here across most of North Dakota. Get into northern Minnesota. We'll have a few spots out there that have a shot at a good half inch of snow near Lake of the Woods. So the farther north you are, the better chance you have. But basically the I-94 corridor of Montana and points south towards Baker could see a half inch to two inches of snow. And if this system taps into a little bit more moisture out there, then we could see some more appreciable snow across parts of the northern valley as we go through. But again, it's just a few tenths of an inch. Now your forecast, your temperatures as you're heading out the door, expect them to be coldest in southeast North Dakota, northeast South Dakota, anywhere with that appreciable amount of snow on the ground, temperatures near zero. We'll be warming up and temperatures going up because of that southwest wind. And it does look like uh, we'll have that chance of snow up north first in the day. Then in the afternoon, we warm it all the way up into the 20s as opposed to those teens we saw yesterday. 21 Grand Forks, 23 Fargo. Moorhead. Bemidji, you'll be up into those low 20s by the afternoon. Snow showers in the afternoon pushing through the Lake of the Woods to, say, Beltrami County area and off to the east towards Kuchichin County. And we'll see a few showers of snow in parts of South Dakota and particularly in Montana. Still a southwest flow across most of Minnesota, but it will be shifting to the north and northwest and get gusty as it ushers in some cold that takes hold. How low are we gonna go? We'll have falling temperatures all day Wednesday from 10 first thing in the morning down into the single digits to below zero by the time you're driving home on your hump day. Chance of an evening aurora. There could still be a fair amount of clouds across the area, but it will be cold for aurora viewing falling down to near 10 below zero in Fargo. And I think we'll see our first teens below here in the valley with some mighty chilly weather working its way through. We warm up into the 20s Thursday and Friday, both little clipper systems, two cl uh, clipper systems that'll bring light snow, a more appreciable snow chance on Saturday as we go through. Temperatures on Saturday look to be falling in the afternoon from near 10 degrees all the way down to near, well, single digits with wind chills in that 10 to 15 below category for the evening. On our way to 15 below in the morning for many areas and a chance to see well, uh, those wind chills approaching rather 30 below zero. Cold, cold out there as we start the next work week with temperatures and a few flakes back up to around 20 degrees. Remember, you can get the latest anytime, anywhere on Hutch's Weather. Here's a quick look at the national picture with regards to the snow system on Saturday. The European model shifting it just a bit to the south out there. Uh, the amounts of snow, not something I want you to pay attention to here, but we're talking a few inches possible. I'll call it measurable at this very early 
early stage. This is a model forecast. It's not our forecast because we know the model is going to change quite a bit as we go through. Make sure you're checking hutchesweather.com. Would you drop a comment? Let me know what your favorite part of the website is. Thanks so very much for being a part of Hutch's Weather and checking out my website, and I'll be here to cover your weather right here. This has been a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's Weather.